Proteins are an extremely diverse group of molecules with widely varying shapes and functions. And the shape is important because the shape of a protein determines its function. And so, for example, you could have structural proteins like the keratin in your hair, which are long and stretchy like cables. You could have uh, proteins that allow molecules into and out of your cells. And those are actually donut shaped with this pore here in the center. Or proteins that bind to DNA. So if this is a DNA strand, then these proteins have kind of a claw shape, which grabs onto specific sequences of DNA and turns genes on and off. How do proteins acquire all of these diverse shapes. Well, in the same way that DNA is a polymer of nucleotides, protein, protein molecules are polymers of amino acids. However, while there are only four nucleotides, um, there are 20 different amino acids in most of the proteins on Earth. Occasionally, you will find an exotic one here and there. And finally, while the, D the nucleotides in DNA are all fairly similar chemically, the amino acid side chains in these 20 different amino acids are really diverse. Some are big. Some are small, some are charged, some are neutral, some are polar, some are nonpolar. And so not only do these different kind of chemical diversities on uh, the amino acid side chains give proteins more kind of chemical diversity as a class of molecules, they also interact with each other, which means that even though a polypeptide starts out as a linear, uh, a linear molecule, right? A linear assemblage of amino acids. The interactions between the side chains mean that it folds up. And it's the specific three-dimensional shape that is a result of this folding. This shape gives proteins their function. Right. And one of the most important functions of proteins are catalyzing chemical reactions. And that's what we're going to talk about next.